Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to go through some soap dispensers. As you guys know, um, coming out of 2020 with COVID-19 and pandemic, we're all a little bit more uh, careful about germs and uh, we need to wash our hands a lot more. So soaping uh, touchless soap dispensers are very popular and uh, during 2020, I have purchased all these soap dispenser around my house and uh, I thought I'll make a video for those of you that would like to purchase a soap dispenser in the future. Um, there are a lot of choices. Um, four of these are Chinese made. Well, that one is probably China made too, but that one is the most expensive. And uh, so stay tuned and let's go through it. Okay, so... I have organized the soap dispenser um, from the least expensive to the most expensive here. And uh, we're just gonna try them one by one and I'm gonna explain the features a little bit, one at a time. And we're going to try to dispense the soap <clears throat> and, um, and then we have a conclusion. All right, so starting out with this guy right here. So we have an on and off button, which is uh, quite typical. So that's probably off because I had it on. That's probably on right there. And all the functionality is the same. Uh, basically you put your hand here and it comes out dispensing uh, soap. So um, all of these are refillable except for the most expensive one. This is Simple Human. And uh, there is a way to refill the Simple Human but you have to sort of hack it or break the um, the soap container in order for you to be able to fill in your own soap. Uh, otherwise you have to buy the uh, soap refill from Simple Human. And um, <clears throat> so this one also, um, the Simple Human has a feature where uh, you can dispense more or less. I'll show you that later. So this is the least expensive and uh, it works just fine. It dispenses. The quality of the uh, foam is not that great. It's kind of like messy and um, uh, it doesn't dispense as, as much as the others. So we'll continue to go through and then um, let's try the second one. Okay, our second soap dispenser um, is a nicer looking design and it has a very tall container. Uh, this one is wide, but I think they they probably fit the same amount of soap. Um, by the way, all of these are just twist. So you just twist and uh, uh, you separate the top and the bottom. It's really easy and you just fill in your, your soap to refill. Uh, so this second one has a sensor right there. Um, let me turn it around for you to see. Yeah, I forgot to turn the first one around for you to see. There's nothing to see actually. Yeah, just basically that. And um, so the uh, second soap dispenser, I believe dispenses more soap. Um, there's an on and off button here that's off and the green light is on and it dispenses a little bit more consistent type of uh, foam. You see that? Yeah, so it's really nice and, and foamy in comparison to the first one. Um, I like the second one. It's uh, it, it's pleasing looking and <clears throat> it's, it's inexpensive and uh, it dispenses a good amount of soap. Okay, we're gonna continue on to soap dispenser number three. Um, this one is kind of like a <clears throat> squarish shape and it has a chrome finish on the top. Um, same on off button on the top. So you can press that to turn it on press it again to turn it off and let's turn it around oh by the way uh, this is these are mostly four double A's I mean triple A batteries this is four triple A four triple A this is four triple A's they're all about four batteries triple uh, A alkaline batteries that you have to fill I mean to have to uh, replace all right, let's see if we can um, test the quality of this uh, third dispenser. 
It's about the same like the second one, probably a little bit more foamy and a little bit more consistent. Um, it sounds smoother. Um, also, the motor doesn't sound like it's uh, straining. So that's the third square or rectangular soap dispenser. All right, we're up to our fourth dispenser. And uh, so between the fourth and the last one here, this one and this one, they're both uh, rechargeable um, soap dispensers. So they have built-in batteries. Um, I don't know if the batteries are actually replaceable, but um, so far I've just been using the uh, charging. So this is using a micro USB to charge. And the, there is light indicators when you charge and when it's full etc and to turn it on and off there's a button here just like everything else hmm somehow it's not really working okay well it dispenses but I don't know why it's not turning off or on all right well I guess it works but um, the the foam is a lot yeah so it, it dispenses tons of foam and the motor is very um, smooth and the foam is also very good quality for this uh, cheaper uh, rechargeable soap dispenser uh, number four and the the volume of the container is 350 milliliter as you can see it's probably about more about the same or even more than the others as far as the uh, the capacity of the soap all right we are finally to our last soap dispenser this is uh, made by simple human and the simple human has this uh, unique feature where you can adjust uh, the height of your hand uh, if you put it closer to the um, Dispenser it will uh, you put it further away from the dispenser it will dispense more soap and if you put it closer it will dispense less and This is a rechargeable um, and it's very Extensive here. So you have a magnetic recharger. Uh, this button is to release um, the container from the uh, um, soap container um, uh, from the it, it, it uh, released the, the top mechanism to the bottom one so you can refill and it closes it up like, like nice like that this is the uh, rose gold finish uh, it comes with I think another finish for silver and um, I, I want to say black I'm not sure uh, but anyhow this is the most expensive I believe this soap dispenser is about $50 um, the rest are somewhere between $15 to probably I want to say $25 to the rechargeable one here and uh, so yeah so this more than doubles the other's price um, is it nicer well I would say it looks nicer um, functionality wise I never really pay attention to how much I want to dispense I kind of just always just put my hand there it is the fastest you see that the way that it dispenses it kind of just attacks um, your hand and it just dispenses really quick um, Unlike the others, they're kind of like lazy, like boo boo kind of um, type of dispensing. But if you're not worried about that fraction of a second, then yeah, uh, it's not worth paying double. You can pretty much get three of these here or two of these here. Oops, uh, for for one of these simple human. Um, okay, conclusions. So they're all working just fine. Um, meaning they all dispense the soap they don't give me a lot of trouble um does it matter uh, would i purchase all simple humans or would i purchase any particular one uh in the future i would say not really um i would probably purchase somewhere in the middle line right here for my purpose um, i don't mind changing batteries i get batteries from harbor freight they're cheap or free um on, when they're on promotions and they work just fine for a couple of months using those cheap batteries. Um, so I would buy either this, I think this is about $18 or $20, and this is about $15. I'll buy these um, instead of uh, these expensive ones. Um, I will put the link in the description for all of these soap dispensers that you can buy on Amazon and or something similar to them, and uh, especially the Simple Human one. Um, 
yeah, so just want to give you my thought and opinions about the soap dispensers. Um, if you like this video, I hope you don't mind giving it a thumbs up so other people can discover it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.